I've recently joined the Companions. Come to think of it, I believe I've wanted to be a Companion since I was a young lad. So for about 20 years. Seems like I should have done it when I got to Skyrim, or at least to Whiterun. Though, looking back on the trouble I brought with me to my home, I think I didn't want to bring these assassins and bounty hunters to such a prestigious group at the time. But now that the family has been dealt with and Harkon has been defeated, other than the dragons in the Civil War, oh, and Mirak over in Solstheim, there aren't any serious things happening. I guess I'm saying that it isn't as bad as it was, which allows me to expand my associations here in Skyrim. Funny that I also find out that the core, or circle, of the companions are all werewolves. Well, it could be worse. They could be all vampires. I don't have Serana's sense of smell, but she said she was picking up the smell of wet dog as soon as we entered Yorvaskar, their high hall. Despite that, I still want to be a companion, and even Codlax said that he wants to be cured of being a werewolf, which I take as a good sign. I wonder if I could help him? Hmm. We shall find out in time. It's only been a few days. Three, I think. But being married to Serana has been some of the happiest days I have had in years. Maybe since my little Salonia was born. I don't like comparing Serana to Amelia, my first wife. Both make her made me happy. Amelia was more stubborn and imposing than Serena, who seems more easygoing and sensitive. Both are beautiful women. I seem to be very lucky there. But what is really different with Serana is that we do the same things, fight the same enemies, watch each other's backs and fight for the same cause. This more than anything has drawn me to her, and I think her to me. We are in this chaotic time together with this unbreakable bond. Unlike Amelia, I don't have to worry about her staying at home and her safety. Serana is extremely competent in combat and very smart. She's like taking the most beautiful woman one can imagine and mixing that with someone as intelligent and capable as my Aunt Branning. Every time I look at Serana, it's a feast for the eyes, for my soul. She's just come to mean everything to me. She's head over heels for me, and I am the same for her. I'm even just happy with her presence around me. It strengthens me, bolsters me. So now that our love is out in the open, and now that we are married, I do not have to hold back a single feeling I have for her. <laughs> that door I was holding closed just a few weeks ago. Well, the gates have opened and a fiery dragon has flown through. This is way more than I ever expected when I met her. This is beyond anything I expected to find. This for me is the best thing in my life by far right now. Nothing else compares. It's why I sent Inigo and Lucian to the Battered Mare, so we could get some alone time and breeze home. But when we are out adventuring, Sarana and I are just by ourselves, doing what I as the Dragonborn need to do. Helping Skyrim and killing dragons. How long will just the two of us be doing this? I'm thinking it could last months. I love Inigo like a brother, and I do like Lucian, but... Serena and I just need to be by ourselves for the time being. Ah, I have gained in skill. Sarana trained me, and... Oh, I'm still waking up. Sarana trained me in, uh... What was it? Light armor. That's right. Hmm. Maybe a bit of magicka. Now, I was working on a lot of, uh... Enchanting. That's what it was over here. But I don't think I'm skilled enough to go all the way. Yes. Not quite that skilled yet. Close. Which means I've also... 
Well, I've also been focusing on my smithing, too, so... Let's see what I can do. Orcish. Oh, I'd love to be able to make Daedric, but... Advanced armors. Glass smithing is the last of the light armor. Dragon smithing. Well, as you... Dragon... Dragon armor. Also includes... And Daedric also includes the lighter versions. But I've come a long way when it comes to smithing, so... Not skilled enough for Dragon or Daedric. I've got to train more. But I've learned a lot. Oh, Seren is up. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. Hmm. I love you. Well, aren't you the romantic one? Of course. I lean in to kiss. Do I really need an excuse to kiss you? No. We have a nice kiss. Not quite as nice at the end of our wedding day, but... Mm. I can kiss your lips all day. Just what I wanted. And you leave me stunned. So we are in Fort Dawnguard. Keep on calling it castle. But this is Fort. Ah, castle this, castle that is better. Isran. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep if you can. Sleep is for the weak. Oh, as I said, that's taking it too far. Hmm. Alright, thank you. Watch your back. You know what? I should go and train with uh, Yorlin Greymane again. Once we get back to Whiterun. Alright, there's two people that I... Oh, wait. Uh, I'm going to leave Oreo's bow here. But I'm not sure where I can place it. Gunmar, let's get this over with. Congratulations, friend. You've won a well-deserved victory here. The people of Skyrim owe you a great deal. Whether they know it or not. Shall mm. we continue the fight? Yes. Cozy little place, isn't this? <laughs> so I killed the vampire masquerading as a traveling bard. Very good. That's one less monster we need to worry about. Though there's plenty more where he came from. Be ever watchful. Hmm. Uh, uh, what can I do to help? I found another beast hiding from the light of day. He's holed up with a group of necromancers. We need to destroy him before he turns his comrades into a brood of vampires. Brittle Shin Pass? Alright. Take care of yourself. You too. Uh, Sorin. While I doubt we'll ever be truly rid of vampires in Skyrim, you've certainly made it a much safer place. Mm. Breton women are short. We take some getting used to. My mom wasn't as short as you are. She was half Breton. Uh, okay, so... Can can you teach me how to make a crossbow? A basic one, of course. That is, assuming you know anything about steelsmithing. It's pretty Quite simple. Quite a lot. Talk to Gunmar if you need materials. Okay. Uh, what can I do to help? I want to add some punch to our crossbow capabilities. I've done all I can on my own. I need a little inspiration. I've always been fascinated with Dwemer artifacts. I take them apart, poke around in their guts, and try to figure things out. It makes results. But as luck would have it, I've tracked down the location of some actual Dwemer diagram drawings. Hmm, alright. So, if you'd be a deer and collect those plans for me? Hmm, okay. Farewell. Well, I'd say. I need to eat something. Some ale. Have some apple cabbage stew. Mm. All right. So let's see what. Get this far without blowing myself up. I still have all my limbs. What kind of work are we talking about here? Nothing. Well, not on purpose. But you never know. 
the strangest accidents can happen at any time. Cozy little well, place, isn't when you put this? it that way. Yeah. Stay safe. I like what Isran has done with the place. It's good to see someone else who's really prepared. Right. So, ancient technology retrieved the enhanced crossbow schematic from Blood Skull Barrel. I have no idea where that is. I know where Britoshin passes. That's where I met Zora. Um. Where are you? Uh, Blood Skull Barrel. Let's get rid of this marker. Hmm. Could be anywhere. Right, well... I'll have to search for it. Turns out that Blood Skull Barrel is on Solstheim. Actually, a fort that I've passed by quite a few times. It's usually bandits there. Unless I've cleared them out. Well, that could wait. Uh, Britoshin Pass. Right, so what do I want to do? There's lots of things for me to do. Too many things. Perhaps, um... Going back to the Greybeards, they didn't want me at the moment, so... They don't need me. But Britoshin Pass is here. A vamp master Vampire Britoshin Pass. That's a Master Vampire, okay. We also have to go to Il Ilanato's Deep. So maybe... Maybe we'll go there. Uh, if I can get a ride to Riverwood... That might be the closest place to it. Probably. Let's do it. Dexian, the Elder Scrolls have served me well. Of course they did. I never doubted for a moment. If I may ask, what will you do with them now? I don't know what to do with them. Do you have something in mind? I did, in fact. Quite perceptive of you. I'd very much like to have those scrolls. Someday I may be able to return them to their rightful place in the Imperial City. How would you feel about turning them over to me? Hmm. Uh, I'd be happy for you to have them here. Thank you. You are too kind. This has certainly been quite the adventure, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. That's just two. I have the dragon one. All right, thank you, Dexion. All right, we've come from the north. We went to White Run instead of going to Riverwood. Serena, are you coming? What's going on over there? Looks like giants are fighting with something. Lots of wolves around the area. Alright, so this was actually a short, small place to reach the other side. You can always summon them. Um... Rocks and valleys, crevices and hiding places. This is the kind of place where hermits and fanatics dwell. You fit right in. Huh. Um, yes, what I did, I should not have whistled. <laughs> I'm kidding. What I want to do is take anything by surprise. Ghost. You know, if it's a master vampire, that would be a good... Oh. Can I take a vampire soul? Without it being a black soul gem. That I don't know. Skeleton off there. Take Another ghost. Uh. What we got here? Me missing is what we got. Done and done. Ectoplasm I'll take. And the ghost. Who's there? Oh, you're dead. Hmm, I can use this for enchanting. I need to get as many items as I can. 
I've got so so much gold. I guess I could just go buy a bunch, but that's uh, that's Come the hard on, way. Let's move. We don't have time to waste yet. Anything to enchant any item of clothing. Speaking of that, they set up a clothing shop right across from outside of Breeze Home, a small one. Clothing that I don't need. It's not the Divine Elegance store. So we're here to hunt a master vampire. What is that? There's two people there. You, you with me, Serena? All right. That's got to be the... I don't know. One's a necromancer. Got him. Got him. Don't know if this is going to work. Nope. Ah. Come here. You went invisible. Alright, what is even happening around here? It doesn't work. You need a black soul gem. You'd think a vampire would be right at home in a place like this. No, I can't You'd loot it. Wrong. Ooh, grand soul gem. Uh, what is the warrior's charge? Old poems of the Red Guards. Didn't I read this? Oh, maybe it's quick. The star-sung, far-flung tales wreathed in the silver of Yokuda's fair. That's where it used to, it used to be called, uh, Yokuda. No, it always was called Yokuda. They used to be called Yokudans. Now the Red Guards. Of a warrior who arrayed in hue sails, his charges through the serpent's snare. And the lord of runes, so bored so soon, leaves a ship for an evening's dare. Perchance to wake the coiled snake, to take its shirt of scales to wear. And the Lady East, who airy beast, a sleep or a prowl can rouse a scare, screams as her eye a light in the sky, a worm no goodly sight can bear, and the mailed steed adjoins the deed, not to be undone from his worthy share, rides the knight towards scale bright, leaving the seasoned warrior's care. Then the serpent rose and made steed to close, the targets lay plain in there, but the warrior's blade, the snake unmade, and the charges wander no more, they swear. I don't like the thing you brought back. Book of Daedra. Give me your loot. Hmm. Turns out it didn't have loot, but you know what, I mean, I can grab anything like this and enchant it, cloak, anything. I can do it right here. So I have four things to enchant. Uh, it really doesn't matter what I do with it. Ugh. I guess I'll use uh, Greater for practice. I'm saving the grand ones for actual enchantments. really need to get my skill up to as much as I can. Ah, I'm improving. Better than going and buying things, I guess. And I can we sell this for much more than what they're worth. Right, so what did I just do? Um, cloak. See, the cloak was worth not much at all. Now it's worth almost 400 gold. I did this one earlier. Oh, wait. Wasn't I supposed to give one to Inigo? Maybe that was it. Mm, necklace of deft hands, pickpocketing. See, these things are worth so much. The necromancer boots were worth like nothing. Now look at them. It's actually a good way to make money. I made this for myself, a smithing necklace. I've got to make a ring, too. In fact, I can buy a whole smithing outfit and just... Yes. 
enchanted as much as I can. Eek, human heart. Right, so you know what? Let's keep going through. Because I have, um... Where is it? There's so much I have to do with Sarto. We're so much in um, uh, Solitude as well. <sighs> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Ilanalta's deep now. I'm about as skilled as one could possibly be with swords, one handed swords. Okay. So Illinalta's Deep is in Lake Illinalta. The map shows it's right in the middle, I think. To see what's up there. So it's about this the This place makes me feel a little uneasy. Let's not stick around here for too long. Oh. Magnus went down. Oh, we're going to live nearby here at some point in the near future. Oh, hello. You can take us all around at Lake Lenota, huh? Um. Parent, is it this way? Lenota's deep. Hmm. Need yeah, something? I like this place, but a lot. But I don't want to swim through. Uh, what do you call it? Slaughterfish-infested waters to. Well, being bitten to death. That way? How does one get over there? Hope this will reach. What? Hey! Nah! Almost! My boots are soaking wet. You know what? Why can't I learn a water walking spell? Don't they even teach that anymore? I think this is it. Anti, anti new water walking. I have water breathing. I suppose that's good help. But no more water walking. Hm. All right. Okay, so what is it I'm supposed to do here? Go to Illinois Deep and find a Zura star. Now the car has told me that his old mentor. M Malin Varen, some dark elf, was experimenting on Azura's star. Malin's last known location is Illinalta's Deep on the shores of Lake Illinalta. Yeah, this is to get... Il uh, this is a Daedric artifact, Azura's star, from one of the few. I guess Meridia is okay. A fox is brave. Wish I could see better. Do not like a torch, it would be. This could be 50 feet deep for all I know. Time to use our swimming skills. Water is cold, very cold. I'd like to stay out of it if I could. Oh, my boots. Ugh. Shake them out. Ooh. Just a skeleton floating in the water. You'd think the bones would sink. Well, how do you get in? Can you get in? Serena, what are you doing? Um. Hey! Ah. Well, if I could jump up on the... Ah, I could climb up. Ugh. Drenched to the bone. I guess this is a way in, Serena. Let's go in. Just Serena and myself. No cat. No Imperial. Ooh, you're the ghost? All right. Couple of them. Are you all right? 
Uh, they've got to be like Draugr are good for taking so soul trapping, but. Ah, smell here. Let's try to handle this quickly. What? I don't really smell that much of anything. Very musty and damp. Nightingale's fact or fiction? Ooh, necklace. Potion of honor healing. No, no, no. See, I could take these clothes. I have a whole bunch of garbage on me, but not after I enchant it. What is going on here? This looks like a place of necromancers. I'm no expert. You would know more about it. Your mother was a really big necromancer. With this. Who would decorate their place with something like this, you know? Only a necromancer would do that. Or somebody that eats people. What's this supposed to say? Stay out. I'll eat you. I'll take your soul. Ghost. And really, that is not what you want for any sane person to have on the outside of your place that you live at. What is that? Another... Oh. Another ghost. Who's there? Still there. Whoa! Watch it with that, uh, shock spell. It was weird, I thought it was somebody sitting down over there. I guess we're in some uh, musty old cave. Looks like no one lives here. Well, there was... Oh, wait. Another skeleton. Caught it. Who's that? Necromancer! Ooh, right in the belly. That calls for... something to drink. An ale. Hmm. This bread, too. I prefer it hot and with butter, but... Dance in the fire? I don't know if I have this one. Might have three copies at home already. All right, what are you doing here? This one's enchanted. This one is not. I mean, weird. There's gonna be a lot of clothesless people by the time I'm done. <laughs> Why is he taking all their clothes and she kills them? Disaster at Ioneth. Yes, I'm looking for books that I do not have and want. Extreme healing, very good. What's with the human hearts? All these necromancers. Is that like a rite of passage? More ghosts. <laughs> Ooh, thought I missed. Oh, we've got necromancers. Well, you Ask for it. Not very strong, are they? a ghost? Fire salts. Whoa! We got a live one. This one might be a tougher one. Got them. Didn't mean to take the ropes. <laughs> Not very oh, it's on. <laughs> hmm. If I don't know better, I think this place is flooding. Maybe the water is, I don't know, evening out, so... It doesn't flood? I don't know why it's not flooded, but water is pouring through here pretty good. I certainly wouldn't want to live here. I love you, Dragonborn. 
Darkest, darkest. I love you too. around here you know I went one way and there was two ways back here might be nothing but I don't want to miss my chance at getting a Zerus star what was in here hmm. garlic this is the kitchen. Ugh. I don't know. I have the sneaking suspicion that they eat people here. Quite disgusting. Ugh. Yeesh. I guess if I ever become a necromancer now I know what decorations to uh, get for my home. It does kind of, I mean, obviously around those things it smells, but overall it's just really, really damp and musty in here. Serena must be picking up something else. She's got way better smelling than me. Like a dog. What do we got here? Darkest, darkest. Darkest, 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 darkness. Extreme. Ooh, this one's locked. What you got in here for me? Where they sleep? What's that? Gold robes of replenishing. I heard something outside the room. Who's that? Who's there? Ugh, I missed anyway. Yeesh. I'm a Nord. You're using cold on a Nord. Well, you asked. Wait, isn't that? No, she's real. <laughs> Not very it's impressive. confusing when you have so many summon things around here. Oh, it's on. No, you're summoning her. How many can you have at once? Who's that? Nice healing potions. Die, Necromancer. <sighs> this one was a lot tougher than the others. She must be in charge. Ooh, this one's worth a lot. Lord Mead. Alright, what did we pass on by, and where's my wife? Something interesting out here, Serena. I guess I can enchant more. Enchanting table's right here, why not? Ooh, more fire salts, frost salts, apothecary satchel. At least it's not all human body parts. I don't understand these necromancers. Robes of eminent conjuration and I don't even have this. Okay. Let's learn something then. Now I learned how to enchant that. Um doesn't matter what it is. It's just practice. Greater soul gem. I've got six to practice with. This might be enough, you know. The nice thing is that once I enchant them, even if it's worthless clothes, raggedy clothes that no one in the right mind would wear, <laughs> it's worth something once you enchant it. Even though he wouldn't catch me wearing it. I 
I only have one of these left. Hmm. I mean, I am improving, but I've got to... I'd like to save these, these Grand Soul Gems. Getting better, almost there. Alright, so now I'm going... Lavender. I just need to start uh, soul trapping a lot. Because I do believe I have lots of empties. Well, six common empties, eleven grand soul gem empties. No graters? Oh, I guess I should be buying more. Buy more at uh, when I'm in white run. Alright, what is the deal with this? How do you get this this thing come down? Is there a, a lever to pull? A button to press? Ugh, how deep is this? Please don't have a monster in here. Ugh. Does that even go down? Go down! That is probably an easier way to do it. Was this somebody important? Okay, please don't shove me. Petty soul gems. Maybe this is the latest sacrifice? I don't know. Ugh. This is awful. Iron War Axe of Sparks. Necromancer's Ritual. I don't know if that's was the one that like who it'd have to be a very powerful person if they have a Daedric artifact, I would think. Everybody else would try to kill them for it, so We haven't come across it yet. When we're done here, I'm thinking of going down to uh, Falkreath and see. Potion of the Healer. If, um, just how much, what do I have to do to buy that land? How much it's worth to build that house? I'm kind of looking forward to that. Oh. Let's go to a different section of the place. Oh, it's really flooding in here. This is an area that no one used, none of these necromancers use anymore. I think this is where we came in. Yes, because I remember that. Okay, now we're above. Well, that just leaves here. Where the water is coming from. Somebody must live around here. Who is that? You can't take another villager from the surface so soon. I told you to prepare everything properly. I can't hear too well. Just sacrifice another disciple. Apprentice Erlen will be no great waste. Yes, he'll do. They say we can't take another village on the surface right now. Anyways, die. I th thought I hit him. Oh, what's with my misses? That. Got him that time. Huh? Anyways, I'm just going to take some things that aren't enchanted and enchant them when I can. Grand Soul Gem. You think I would be able to find Soul Gems all over the place? Isn't that what Necromancers like doing? of oblivion path that way there's a door that way lavender snowberries well I can practice my alchemy 
there's nothing in here. That's the. Please don't push. That's the fire book one. Ooh, nice potion. Okay, nothing this way. Ugh, Serena, how do you do that? Iron Mace of Binding. Robes of Peerless Restoration. What's that? Dead Necromancer is what it is. Oh. You can take a hit, huh? Not too many. What? What are you gonna fight with your head? I'm not someone to be trifled with. Charge at me? He had no arms, stupid skeleton. Cloak. Stuff of fireballs. Why didn't he use it on me? Well. Oh. They have more cells in here than you have at uh, Castle Volkahar. Which I would have thought would have like 500 cells with people in various stages of being fed upon <laughs> in their dungeon. Alright, Necromancer. Time to die. Who's there? Got him! <laughs> oh wait, they're still... Why are they still coming up? I killed your master. Back. Is that it? Ugh. Black soul gem. Another stuff. I mean, I can even take the dagger. I would appreciate being able to reuse my ebony arrows or whatever arrows I'm shooting with. Doesn't happen that often, though. Well, where are we supposed to go? Hey, you know, one of these days these are gonna give way and it's just gonna be massive flooding. We won't be able to be in here. The whole place will probably collapse. <sighs> Still, no sign of this. Is there a star? Must be more ahead, if it's even here. Hmm. I don't think that anything is going to come and stop us. Interesting. Is that it? Why is there so many skeletons here? Who are you? Did you try to steal it? Uh, I've got enough things to enchant. Malin Varen's Grimoire. Well, that's the one that uh, I'm supposed to get the Azura Star from. Let me read it. The Black Star, an achievement of magic over Daedra by Malin Varen. Or is it Malin Varen? I say Malin. Sounds better than Malin. Master Enchanter. No, oh, that's what I am. Though some scoffed, some scorned at the very notion of experimenting on a Daedric artifact, I have succeeded where the ignorant and superstitious would not even dare to try, the Black Star. My achievement over the Daedric Lord Azura, a re-envisioning, a remastering of the ultimate soul gem, it shall become the vessel of my immortality, final proof that mortals can live as indefinitely as the denizens of oblivion. The visions, the voices that Azura has sent to taunt me, well, some called me mad. Excuse me. <coughs> I knew the truth. Nothing can be held secret in the pursuit of advancing the very nature of magic itself. Let the Daedra send their foul images into my mind. They have given me the burning desire and unrelenting discipline to shut out all influence, all morality. All morality. My disciples and I have built a new site, free of the prying eyes of those primitive minds in Winterhold. Fort Illinalta. We had been conducting a few minor experiments before our exile, some of which led to the disruption of the island, but a few enchantments have kept the ruins intact, 
and beneath the waters of Lake Illinolta has been the perfect place for the final phase of the Black Star. Oh, is that it? I was expecting a good story, but that's it. See, that looks like... I mean, he says he's an enchanter, but... What's with the blood on the book, huh? Was this him? He said he got to immortality, but... Who else would be holding it? Well, this is it. Doesn't look right. Look, it's broken. Parts of it. <sighs> well, I guess we have to bring it back to uh, Nelkar. Nelkar. Which is up in Winterhold, so that's <laughs> quite far from here. A little... Peckish. Well, is that it? There's a chest here. Well, this wasn't one big epic adventure, I guess. A flawed Varla stone. Gold. Mm. Take the ring. Enchant it. I like enchanting jewelry, actually, more than anything else. Unless it's something I'm going to use. But if I'm just practicing... And... Actually, that does make sense because jewelry is usually really light compared to, say, clothing or weapons that I enchant and plan to sell. But the, the merchant I'm selling to doesn't have enough gold, so then I'm stuck holding onto something, a bunch of things that are heavy. That's why I prefer jewelry. Plus, the jewelry sells really well. When you can find merchants. Right, how do we get down from here? I guess jump into the water? Don't break your feet or your legs. Or this one. Oh. Here it goes. Whoa. Oof. Oof. Let's go. I hope there's no slaughter fish that are going to bite me. We're already soaking wet. Why not get more wet? Besides which, I want to go. Oh, there's one of those stones here. Well, I'm not freezing. It's still cold. Serena. Here she comes. Watch out for the slaughter fish. You okay? Oh, there's one that was on her. It's not often that I get to kill one of them. I mean, unless I, I'm not going into the ocean to find slaughterfish, but in the lakes, like the... Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Lake Illinalta. I don't think that there's any other lake besides the one in uh, Riften. There's no other lakes. It's just, this is river leading onto the ocean. Hmm. Alright, so this... Is the Lady Stone, I take it? Where's the actual stone? Oh, right here. Hmm. You know what? This is kind of better, I guess. Lady Stone's he health and stamina. Regeneration improvement. I'm all clean now, too. <laughs> I've been so wet. Swimming. Ooh, torch bugs. And a weird sounding bird. Whatever that is. What are you? Oh, this pla little island has its own dock on it. Deer over there. So Falkreath is just south of here. Serena, where are you? Uh, I'll summon her on the other side. There's a ship underneath there.
Unless I want barnacles, there's no point. I guess somebody had taken almost all the gold before they left. The ship was abandoned. How do you lose your ship in a lake like this? <laughs> Maybe it was a big storm, I don't know. Hey, Serena. You really intent going after that slaughterfish, are you? Hmm. You know what? I'm not. So... Let's get down to Falkreath. There's that dog again. The one that talked to me. I kind of forgot about that. I was in the middle of a dragon battle. Hey there, dog. Can you talk again? Birds. I saw a dragon just a sh short time ago. Hello? You were looking for me? Yeah, I think it'll be just what I need. What? You see, my name is Barbus. Barbus? I have a problem I think you can help sort out. Oh? What could a dog... Wait, you're talking to me in my mind. Huh. So what could a dog need help with? My master and I had a bit of a falling out. Hmm. We got into an argument and it got rather <laughs> heated. Did it? He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. No? Oh. Sounds easy enough. Let's go find him. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't Vile. manifest very far from one of his shrines. What? Clavicus Vile? I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If oh. this worked out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. Hey, just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? You'd want me to... What? Are you a dangerous pet? I want to go to Falkreath. You're going to follow me. Wait. Where's Hamar's shame? Where is it? Oh, Shrine of... Why do I have to go to the Shrine of Azura? Hmm. I have to look at my uh, journal. Where... Where is it? How come it's always so hard to find things on my map? It actually doesn't even show me where it is. Uh, hey, Barbus. Barbus! Wait. Why did Vile kick you out? Well, I guess you could say I got on his knives. I tend to be the voice of reason, and he finds that uh, irksome. A dog reasoning he with the. Uh... kill me, you see. We're technically part of each other. But he was able to banish me from his domain. Wait, Clavicus Vile. Yes, because of our separation, Vile is now much weaker. I guess he figured it was a small price to pay for not having to listen to me anymore. What? Doesn't... <sighs> right? Hey, I'm glad you're here with me. You're gonna be okay, right? You always do that. What do you think of this place? I... I kind of expected it to be a bit more gloomy here, considering that this is the place where a lot of dead are buried. The area doesn't seem to be as dreary. The people here just look... normal. I don't know how else to put it. It's a small city in the forest. That's it. A city with a lot of history. Battle, death, just sad things, really. It seems people can rise above all that and accept the world for what it is. I admire that. Hmm. Where'd, where'd Barbas go? 
He's just gonna go off on his own whether I'm following him or not. That's not a way to get some... To get help. Yeah, he's taking off. Ugh. Well, you know what? This is sort of a big deal. I didn't realize. Clavicus Vile is usually shown with a dog at his side. Could this be his dog? Let's go follow this dog, Barbus. Ugh. I want to do things down here in Falkreath. I guess I'm not going to be able to. Barbus, where are you? Headstrong dog? Well, I guess if it's part of a... a god. Probably makes sense that it, it would be headstrong. There you are. Well... This is going to take a while, I guess. I don't know where this place is. Maybe be... Wouldn't it be easier if you just showed me on the map where it is? Barbus! Ugh. Alright, I'll trot along behind you. Here we go. This might take a while. Oh, there, calm down. Is something wrong? Where's your master? What happened to him? This might be urgent. Ay, 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 I've got two dogs leading me in two different directions. Barbus! Right, dog. This is one of the, um, Don, Don Guard dogs. I thought it was a wolf at first. Okay, come on. I'll have to try to track down Barbus. Well, this is where the house is that I want to build. Yes? Come on, lead on. Yeah? Hey. Hey, you sure you know the way? Looks like you're getting stuck. Give me your paw and show me on my map. You want me to go to Shriekwin? Where? Where's Shriekwind? Oh, it's, I see it. It's nearby. Barbus. Like I said, I'll have to catch up. He's going to Helgen. Okay, you follow along, dog. I know where to go. At least this one's not talking to me. I'm used to animals that don't talk to me. <laughs> Although being able to speak with animals would be a nice spell. Is that a ghost up ahead? Ghost dog. Oh. Wait. I think that that was a different wolf altogether. Not that one line dog meat. That was uh, one of the three spirit animals that I was supposed to slay. Alright, this way. Something about the Dawnguard Master. Maybe a vampire has him. And for the love of the gods, please don't have another dog. Stop me uh, on the way to this one. It's getting a bit much. Maybe it'll be a cat next time. I don't know this place. Oh. This right nearby, um, Falkreath. 
Some old Nordic rune. I guess we're helping dogs today. I haven't slept. Oh. I clicked the wrong one. No. This is the right one. Maybe it's over here. Somebody left their boots. Plentiful healing. That's our soul gym. Alright, how do I actually get in here? Dog, how do you get in here? Can you get in here? Maybe it's down this side. Oh, well, this looks like it. Uh, somebody's in trouble. I don't have time to rest. Serena, you with me? I'll just summon her inside. If she's not. Hello? Who's there? What's this? Vampire! Go. That's enough. Good job, dog. You're kind of like Miko. Hey, you're a good dog. You know, I guess they tra trained the dog to kill vampires. All right. Put gold in pouches, not just litter all over the spot. If we found ourselves in now, huh? Is it like Brittle Shin Pass? Locked. Easy lock, though. Oh, this is... I hear something. Draugr. Do I? Or maybe not. I'm just hearing things. What was this? No vampire? Oh. Hey, watch out. Can you move? This might raise that platform. Or it might open that up. I don't know. Dog, you're in the way. Well, I was right. Oof. That's what killed that woman there. Skeletons. Okay, but maybe we're not dealing with Draugr. Ooh, flawless garnet. D. Ring. Yeah, normally I just save my enchanting for jewelry. I was hoping it'd be Draugr. How am I going to get more souls? Well, this looks like a place for Draugr, but there's not Draugr here. <laughs> you know what? One time... Oh, it's missing a leg, too. Oh, it's gone. My arrow went right through its bones. That's funny. I was gonna say, one time I wanted to find one without a head and without any arms. <laughs> Just legs. <laughs> What's it going to do to you, huh? Oh, this is coffin. I was always taught to avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why now. Hmm. Uh, epic, apple cabbage stew. Yum. I 
I think there might be vampires in here, Serena. Coffins. Oh, like I thought, maybe there was a vampire that took the Dawn Guard. This is in the mountains north of Falkreath. Who's there? Skeleton. <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, there's another one up there. <sighs> Got it. There's another one. Oh, I see another one. I'm calling it. This one's oh. in the bag. Where'd that one come from? That had no arms and no head. <laughs> Where'd the spikes? I heard it ra raise up and then spikes came down. Or maybe this thing opened up here. No, I, I see holes there. I think spikes came and killed whatever was there. Okay, get off this thing. Get off, please. Thank you. I don't know what's going to happen. Yes, he spikes. That's what got her. Okay, can we get up here? Either someone's doing what I do, or they take all their clothes, or... Somebody's been killing a lot of people. I assume a vampire is seeing all the coffins around here. This way. Nice work. Let's just practice with my bow. It's nothing. Huh. Is that open up? I'm here, skeleton. Gotcha. Is that a chest in there? We'll try to open that up. Which one would this be? This one? Okay, for some reason it opened this up. Orcish scaled armor. Well, there's no point because there's nothing in here. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's an old throne chair. All right, so what does this do? Ugh, spiders. Nothing really at all. Watch out, dog. What about this one? What? That didn't... Oh, this is now open. There's more pull chains here. Ugh. A ticket. Um, nobody comes in here very often. So, Spires. what's inside? Twenty gold. Oh, you okay, dog? Oh. 
You okay? What we're trying to do is open up that one, it's not. Oh, the way we came is closed now, too. Oh, it's open. Alright, this is the way we want to go. Yeah, this place just smells old. Stale old. Is that a trap? Looks like it. Careful of that spot, there's two traps on the floor. Oh, I see a skeleton. Another one. Shit, it moved. Ah! Ah! Waste. Waste of arrows. I guess we go this way. <gasps> Are you a vampire? I don't know, that one seemed really weak. What's going on? This looks like it opens. Keeps going and going and going. Okay, this way is the only way to go. These things burnt. These people were burnt to death. That's terrible. Who's that? He's just standing there staring at me. Hey, watch out. Who knows what's gonna happen? A bunch of flames can start up. I almost think this is a place where I have to use whirlwind shout. Who's that? Hi. Who are you? Let us dance. <clears throat> you don't look like a vampire. Gorgeous as always, my love. Careful. Dog, you're in the way. Picks. Thief's journal scrap. Sadell's ring of renewal. <laughs> nice ring. Hey, what about this ring? Does it belong to your master? Is you want me to find her? Maybe we can find clues about her whereabouts in Fort Dongard. Go back to Fort Dongard. Wait for me there. Oh, that's an obedient dog. 
No. Uh, what did I just pick up? Wasn't a thief's journal or something? Thief's journal scrap? This one will become the greatest thief yet. He knows this, and the most talented thief must prove himself by stealing from those whose shadow is equally strong as him. But who bears the strongest shadow? A vampire, perhaps? Yes, a vampire. That is a worthy mark for someone skilled as this one. They say vampires can easily see in the dark. Well, so can this one. They say vampires have claws and fangs. This one's claws and fangs are sharp as ebony. This one does not fear vampires like the others, and this is why this one will become the greatest thief yet when I steal from a vampire. Well, that's pretty brave. That doesn't help uh, find the missing master, though. This is a vampire? Maybe it did. It is a vampire. It did steal from it. Maybe it backstabbed it or something. Well. So there was a vampire here, but the thief got to it before I did. What is this book? Speech increased. Oh, these series of books. It's the last year of the first era. There's like a... 30 different volumes or something. 50 volumes. I do not want to track those down. Daedric plate helmet. <laughs> Flawless diamond. wonder if that goes out. I hope so, because I don't want to have to go back the way we came. A Khajiit thief got the vampire. Oh, I got the vampire too. A beautiful one. Maybe we're not done with the vampires. What's going on over there? That looks like a drugger. a word wall nearby. What was that? Who's that? Sneaking oh, it's a vampire, all right. Oh, oh, this thing is taking my life. Yeah, we're the opponent. Whoa, it's not dead. It's not dead. It just changed into its lord form. <sighs> right, ultimate healing. Could use ultimate or restore magicka too. Right, where are you? Ah, I can't see. Oh. What's going on? I think I got it. Take that. That was, uh, a little scary. It was right here. Hmm. I've been this my arrows. My arrow. Hmm, ring of minor stamina. I can sell these things. Hey, teach me a word. Battle Elemental Fury. Hmm, don't, don't know that one. If 
Finally a worthy opponent. Oh. Now I see what you meant. Because when he turned into the vampire lord form. Oh, it's leading outside. Huh. I need to sleep. Getting tired. And there's Falkreath. Mountains everywhere in Skyrim. Oh, how are we supposed to get down from here? This doesn't look safe. I don't know about you, but... There's got to be a way down. Why would they have this? Is this just like a dangerous balcony? I jump off here, I'm dead. I'm glad you're here. Hmm. Uh, I love you, Serena. Together at last. We earned this. Yeah, how do we get down, though? It's quite the ways back. I don't know what to do other than try dropping down. I hope I survive. Maybe it's angled slightly where I can slide. You know I've done crazy things, but this would probably be the most crazy thing I've ever done. Yes, I can heal myself, but... Not if I can't survive the fall. Hmm. It would be nice to have a teleportation of any kind just to get me anywhere. Hmm. I don't think this is a good idea. Which means going back in. Alright, let's find a way out of here. So we made it back to Falkreath. We're at the inn. Hey, Serena, we should get some shut-eye. Sure thing. I'm tired. And I need to wash myself, and then we have our bed to sleep on. Nice double bed. Mm-hmm. So it turns out that I did actually pass by a place called Hamar Shame. That must be where Barbus went to. Hmm. It's not that far away, but we'll have to ride out there now. I just sold a bunch of everything. Let's move faster. The sun is... It's not great for my skin. I think I need to talk to the blacksmith. Was his name Lod? Lod. The men here in Falkbreath seem to be afraid of Good to see you again, You know that dog that was on the road you asked me to get? Yeah. He ended up being a whole lot more trouble than he was worth. Anyway, it's done. Time to move on. Much obliged. Here. It's not much, but take it anyway. <laughs> it wasn't much. Greetings. Hello again. I guess uh, now we ride east to Hamar's shame. I believe we found Hamar's shame. Quite cold this way. I've been through here several times since returning home. But I never went in this... Uh, cave here. This must be where... what's the dog's name? Barbus. Where he went. Serena, your vampire speed is only so fast. It's not as fast as being on um, princess here. I was going to summon her. I hope this is where the dog went into. To warm I'm up. okay there with you the are. dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Hmm. Don't know what to expect. What did he say? Travel with Barbus to the Shrine of Clavicus Vile. I ran into a talking dog named Barbus who said he had a falling out with his master and wanted my help. He's waiting outside Hamar Shame in the canyons east of Helgen. At least it's warmer in here. Looks cold. Feels cold, but my body's warming up. This better be important. Huh? Who 
was this? I'm calling. This one's in the back. I got the wrong arrows. Uh, don't want an elven arrow. Oh, you know what it is? Oh no, ebony. Very thought I was out. Got him. He has elven arrows. That's where I got the elven arrow from. It was in me. All right. Let's try to be quiet. Who are these people? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Jeez. Oh, is that it? Take all of it. Iron arrows. What is it? Well, there's a path. It keeps going this way. Well, that looks like a trap. Come down and smash you and impale you. <laughs> Watch out for this. Oh, these are vampires. The dust and the clothing. Place full of vampires, are we? Look at this eating people, body parts on the table. <laughs> Dead. Serena, are you sure this isn't one of your Volkahar vampires, or it's just a regular vampire? Ah! That didn't do very much. Now I kind of wish that I had resist shock. I knew I had to kill that one that was attacking me. <sighs> For this one to go, because she had summoned it back to existence. Flawless diamond. Nice ring. How do you know who's a Volkahar vampire and who's a regular vampire? They say things from when they were still existing. That's my arrow. Alchemy. Coffin. Petty soul gem. Bone arrow. Ebony Helmet of Eminent Archery. It's, I could sell this. Fire arrow. Glass bow of blizzards. Really nice. Grand Soul Gem. Ice arrow. Light splinted body shield. That's a lot of good items. Ugh. What happened to this poor one? Poor Imperial. Just dead laying on the table like that. Mm. My foe is gone.
your pet is disturbing. Mum muttering back there. Gather some of the hunters, teach them a lesson. There's one there. One coming in there. I don't know which one. I'm lucky he won't hear this one. <laughs> Vampires have good hearing, do they? What if I can... If I can get close enough to backstab? I would love to do that. Ah, uh, well, I didn't kill him, but... Not very impressive. I got the backstab in there, just wasn't enough well. to bring him down. So it's an orc? Butcher's hood. What do we got here? What's going on down there? Dead. Uh. Oh, you brought... Uh. See, the problem is that if I haven't looted it... I gotta look for the ash piles. Nord mead. Mm. Speaking of Nord mead... Blackbriar meat. This is. It's not a vampire. There's a victim. My arrow's back. Some vampire dust. I just used up a l lot of healing potions, actually. We fought a bunch of bandits getting out here. It was quite close a few times. I had to use up a lot of healing potions. It's like they're getting stronger, or I'm getting weaker. Dwemer Inquiries, Volume 3. Come on, where's the book that I'm looking for? Mr. Chalav, version 1. Chances Folly. Oh, there was a place up here, though. Traps, easy lockpick. Oh, dragon scale gauntlets. Daedric arrows, flawless diamond, gold. Nice treasure in here. Um, oops, I didn't mean to open that. The bag. Um. I could use, well, uh, Ultimate Magicka. I'm not sure. I guess this cheese is okay. Let's just eat it. Uh, where is it? Goat's Woods cheese. Hm, tastes normal. I'll have to take a cure disease anyways in case they... I don't know. What, what could they do to cheese? Sink their teeth into it. The next person that drinks from it gets turned into a vampire, or eats it from it, gets turned into a vampire? I don't think that that's how it works. Hmm. You have... What do you think of this oh, place? What is it? I love you. It's so good to be with you. Makes everything else worth it. Hmm. Look at me. I need a bath. Or just be out in the rain. Or take a swim. <gasps> Yeek.
salt. We need that chest. Ebony helm of water breathing. Hmm, I suppose I could take it to sell. Oh, this is the filthiest arcane enchanter I've ever seen in my life. Don't they even clean the blood off? What do they do? Eat off it? Oh, I can disenchant this one. Water breathing. Very nice. Dragon scale gauntlets. Yeah, see, there's so much I need to do. I want to start making my own dragon scale. Focusing on smithing and enchanting for now, that's what my goals are. I want to become the ultimate enchanter. And I want to become one of the best smith, if not the best smith in all of Skyrim. Yorlin Greyman can only live so long. He's quite old. Is he in his 70s or 80s now? I'm not sure how old he is exactly. Alright. This one had nothing on it that I can find. Guess we go this way. Muffle. <sighs> What's that? Who's fighting? Oy. Just kill it. They're fighting somebody over there. I don't know what. They're fighting Barbus. Oh, wrong spell. Why are you focusing on me, huh? Take this. This is a tough one. Come here. Got you. Oh, it's an ancient. I have to watch myself around these things. Uh, I need stamina. Take this, vampire. I think I got it. Another one. Uh, I'm so tired. Uh. How many of them are there? Are they finally gone? Oh, That was like three ancients, wasn't it? Or th two ancients at least. Barbus, you're right. Why did... You okay? Oh my gosh. By the gods, I can only swing so much. For my arms, we're gonna fly off. I have to go pick them up and reattach them. Black Soul Gem, of course. Oof, Daedra Heart. This place is so much treasure. <sighs> Master Vampires. Really tough enemies. What the first one? The one that came after me. This party's up here.
ghostly remains. Uh, this is when he was um, vampire lord. There's a chest here. Dragon scale boots. Elven boots of strength. Take that and sell. Alright, what is this? Statue of, of um, not Hercene, Clavicus Vile, without his dog. Hey there, will you speak to me, Clavicus Vile? I hate to supplicate myself to these Daedra, but this is what they want to hear, as we are mere mortals. Lord Vile, I have a request of you. By all means, let's hear it. Oh. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. Hmm? They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. Hmm. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Hmm. Hmm. It's not for me. I'm just here to reunite you with your dog, Barpas. Ah, uh, that insufferable pup. Forget it. Request denied. No deal. I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine. In the back end of nowhere. Well... Perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Hmm? Maybe. But no promises. Okay. What's your offer? There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. <laughs> As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. I think I know what that might is. Even earn his place back at my side. Hmm. The Rufal Axe at Rhyme Rock Burrow. That's by Castle Volkahar. Yeah. Here. I passed by that actually on the way to kill the Harkon. So I was going the wrong way. Man. Isn't this enough? I brought your dog back to you. Barbus. Hmm. So what's the story behind the Rufal Axe? One of Clavicus's little Jess. A wizard named Sebastian Lord had a daughter who worshipped her scene. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a lot of traveling to do just to reunite you with your Daedric Prince. Well, I guess you can come along. How do you open this? What would be the fastest way of getting all the way up there? Well, certainly a trip to the Dragon Bridge. Well, you wouldn't even know that's a thing over there. Magnus is going down. I suppose I could uh, arrive up to right run, take this the stable or sorry, um carriage up to Dragon Bridge and we're right by there. So that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll spend the night in White Run. 